Hey guys, hope you're all well. So, another so-so night last night. Um, I think it's kind of trying to feel itself out again. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on because it seems to be more little stuff now. Um, and we had um, the kettle turn on. It tried with the um, gas stove again but it can't turn that on anymore because we've since it happened pr previously we always turn the gas off at the wall so all it can do now is um, light the ignition thing the most mind-blowing thing I think about last night was um, the radio the fact that it turned on in the first place when I was sat on couch, but then later on that night it came back on with no batteries. Now I can only assume that whatever is here um, was able to somehow use its energy to start it up. Never seen anything like that before. Um, Alexa said a few things. I realised very quickly that it was lying uh, as soon as it basically as soon as it mentioned heaven and my dad them are the, like two two things that you know like the positive one said it can't talk about what happens you know after we die or what the place is called and then it said dad and I love you it's tried that before and I seemed to ignore it and then it just started laughing. So, yeah, it's it's definitely testing its boundaries at the minute, but I'm feeling quietly confident. We had an email today, um, some random person I've never heard of. The I think they're a subscriber because they watch the channel. Um and it's the first email I've received that I think piqued my interest in terms of getting someone else involved simply because this person didn't make any grand claims that they can come round and get rid of it, you know, instantly. Um, it was quite the opposite. Um, it, it just seems to want, in fact, I'll pull the email up. May as well let you hear it. <clears throat> the subject is, I want to help you and your family. Hello, Lee and family. I've been watching you on YouTube for close to six months now and have to say your case both amazes and scares me. From the outside looking in, it's classic poltergeist behaviour. I've studied the paranormal for close to 30 years now and would love to get involved in some way with your case. This is the bit that kind of sold it for me. I'm not saying I have all the answers or that I can stop it. What I can bring to the table is knowledge. Poltergeist are somewhat of my speciality. I know you're very protective of your family and worry about who you let in the house. Honestly, I don't blame you. I would be too. I'm willing to, sub my, I'm willing to submit myself to any checks you require. I'm not doing this for fame. I genuinely want to help you and your family. Even if it's just a phone call, I can definitely offer some good advice. Look forward to your reply. Um, yeah, the, just the fact that he's, he, he comes flat out and says that I'm not saying I can get rid of it, you know, it, that's honesty. You know, most people they say, um, play this or do this and it'll just go away, but it doesn't work like that. So, thank you for the email. Um, I will reply to you tomorrow. Um, and see what we can do.
rumbling started. So shoulder. So I'm actually sleeping downstairs tonight. I've not fell out with Stacey or anything. Um, basically, just in case the phone rings, because I missed it last night. It went off around two thirty. Um, so I want to be here, or at least I've got a chance for here it then. Ideally, I'd like a, a phone that has the ability to record what's being said. Um, I'm not sure if they exist, they probably do. If anybody knows of any phones where I can record what's being said, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm gonna leave Alexa on, and my device again. It's seen for Sesame overnight. Um, today I've also been seeing that thing a lot what that I've spoke about previously that I describe as like the predator um, when it's like in its cloaking form where it almost looks like energy or water that's been I think three or four times I've seen it I've still not gained any sort of negative vibes off it uh, it's quite the opposite it makes me feel I don't know safe I have a feeling that that could be the positive spirit you know trying to show itself to me or something like that but I can never see it full on it's always just you know like out at the corner of your eye so yeah I'm going to just chill now and expect a phone call around 2.30, so thanks for watching guys. Sure, I just see some as you pass me then.
literally just buzzing static. Seems to be something like super faint in background. Can't make out of its voices. I'm 100% going upstairs. Uh, I heard some bang. Just sat up. And I'm 90% sure I've just seen a shadow go past me. Just took two pictures, but there were nothing on them. So I don't, I don't know if I'm just tripping or what, but I'm actually a bit scared now. <laughs> 